Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar Channel, and in today's video, I'll show you my workaround for getting around the export limits for Kindle highlights. I did a video a little while ago showing how I export Kindle highlights to Evernote and Google Sheets. So I ran into an issue recently that I had not encountered before. I'm in a graduate program and I am renting my textbooks for the semester in digital format. So as I do my reading for the semester, I have been highlighting passages and then exporting them into a spreadsheet as a means of taking notes on the reading. The way I usually do this is by accessing the Kindle management website through my PC at this URL. The issue I was running into was that I had apparently exceeded the number of highlights or the amount of text that the website lets you export, so I was getting this error message. And I was having to go back into an earlier chapter and delete the highlights one at a time in order to free up space to allow me to export the highlights that occur later in the text. It was a hassle since you can't bulk delete highlights. I guess I hadn't had this issue before since I was not using textbooks, which are long and full of highlightable passages. So my workaround isn't a cure-all, but it does meet my needs. Instead of going to the Kindle management website, I use the Kindle app on my iPad to export the highlights. The export limits seem to be a little larger on the app for whatever reason. From the Kindle app, hit this button at the top to see all of your highlights, then hit the share button. Choose email, pick a citation style if you want to, and hit export. Before you do, you can see at the bottom of the screen that the Kindle is calculating how much of the book you are able to export. They definitely don't want you to export 100% of the book for copyright reasons, and they set their limit at 10%. So I'm up to 4% now, which gives me lots more room to highlight than the website highlight page allowed. Once you hit export and you email it to yourself, you'll get this nice notebook export, which as it turns out, gives you even more information than the website does. Here, I will show the two exports side by side. You can see that the website export gives only location number, which I find kind of useless. The iPad export gives you the page number instead, and it provides the title and the section of the book that the highlight was found in. I like all of this additional information. I keep all of these highlights in a Google spreadsheet, and I'm doing a separate video now on how I organize all of my highlights per class. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.